Hello. This video is doing uh, talking about the solution for homework five for the factorial problem. We're going to look at what what the basic idea was here, what we, what we wanted to do, and then what the code is. All right. So we're with the factorial problem here, and the basic idea is we want to have a function that computes factorial. Um, so the definition of factorial is if you have a number n, then it's going to be n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times etc. all the way down to 2 times 1. So if we did 4 factorial, the definition of what that is is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, so we need a loop to do this or recursion. You'll find both ways to do this. Um, so we basically need a loop or recursion. And if we're doing the loop version, then if you look at this, it looks like we might do something like for i in range 1 up to 4 plus 1 because the way range works, it always stops one sooner. So to get started, if we ran that, we would have a loop that goes from one up to four and we would just print it. Now, instead of just printing it, we want to multiply things together. So to multiply things together, we need to have a running total. So I would say something like total equals one total equals total times i. Okay, so if I ran that, I should get at the bottom here, after the loop, I could print the total. Okay, start off with the total being one. I go through one up to four, multiply in the total each time, after the loop, it should be the right number. And then if we wanted this to be 10 factorial, we would do it like this, 15 factorial like this. If we had some variable n, then we would do it like this. Let's look back over at the code. So here we did have a fa uh, variable n, and that would actually just, just the code that I typed would go in there. Um, who cares about the factorial? So it's it comes up in math, it comes up in computer science sometimes. So n factorial is the number of ways, we'll say with four here. So four factorial is the number of ways to arrange four items. So, um, for example, how many different ways to, um, let's see, have A, B, C, D in some order. So we would have A, B, C, D. You could also have A, B, D, C. You can have A, C, B, D, and so on. So the factorial is how many different ways to do that. The binomial, um, we had another function that was supposed to be doing the binomial based on the definition of factorial. So we have this definition here, binomial m and n, and let's just take an example. So um, binomial 5, 2 is pronounced 5 choose 2. And the reason it's pronounced like that, this is how many different ways to pick two items out of five. So how many different ways to pick two letters from A, B, C, D, E. Okay, so there's A, B, there's also A, C, and so on. 
and we're not counting BA and AB as different things because we're just trying to pick two. Okay, and the definition of binomial 5, 2 is 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 5 minus 2 factorial. That's just the math definition. You don't need to understand why to be able to do the code. So we have the larger number factorial, and then on the bottom we have the smaller number, and then the larger minus the smaller, all factorial. So once we get the factorial working, then we can compute the binomial number, the binomial coefficient. Now if you wanted, if somebody asked you um, how many different ways uh, to pick five uh, starters from a team of 10, then that is binomial 10, 5, or pronounced 10 choose 5. And now you could compute that. Okay, so basically to complete this assignment, if you copy paste this into your factorial function, and then you want to run it with this uncommented, Let's see, I'll do that here. Space it over. Um, and then we need to also return the total. Looks like I missed copying over the total equals one. Okay, so here, what am I expecting to print? One factorial is one. Um, 2 factorial is 2, 3 factorial is 6, 24 factorial is, sorry, 4 factorial is 24. So I should see that printed here if I uncomment and run it. Don't need that pass anymore. So 24, 24, 24, that means I have some problem. And the problem is I left this with the 4, so really I want that to be n. So whatever the value of n that comes in, I do that as my range. So there I have 1, 2, 6, 24, and I could check these um, by putting in uh, 10 factorial into Google. All right, if you have that working, then you could comment that again because we don't need that output. We just have this nice loop that prints the factorials. And then this one here, basically you can copy paste this into your binomial. Um, and you can do the same thing once you have that working. Uncomment this, and I gave you some values that if you have the binomial function correct, if you do these three, it should be 1, 5, 10, just based on what the right values should be. And then this printout will print the binomial coefficients, um, a certain group of them. Okay. That's, um, that's it. So you should be able to get the right answers in there now. And the reason that we did this, which I put over here in the readme, the reason that we did this is the factorial and the binomial are little things that you can make functions out of, and they're actually useful, potentially.